since 2007, Rear Admiral Stephen K. Gawson has served as the Surgeon General of the United States. As the nation's top public health physician, the Surgeon General communicates the best science, evidence, and data to American people in order for them to make healthy choices uh, that impact their health, their safety, and their security. Please join me in welcoming Admiral Gawson and giving him a warm Harrisonburg JMU Rockingham County welcome. I'm here today uh, to talk about childhood obesity and the, the amazing part about the message that I've been conveying around the country is that some people still don't understand what is happening in the United States and in fact around the whole industrialized world having to do with obesity and overweight and our young people. I'm here to learn, uh, to hear what you're doing. Three years ago we started an international walk to school day with one of our elementary schools here locally. That had evolved the next year into five schools doing walk to school day and the original school doing walking every Friday. Um, the earlier that we start talking to parents about um, healthy eating and healthy lifestyle, the better. I find a lot of newborns come out into my practice and by the time they're three and four months old, they already weigh 20 pounds. On behalf of the LPGA, I'd like to thank the Surgeon General for his recognition of the LPGA USGA Girls Golf Club here at James Madison University. I commend you for your efforts to curb and prevent childhood overweight and obesity within your community and your dedication to improving the overall health of our nation's youth. Thank you for being a part of the solution to create a healthy youth for a healthy future. I'm proud to be this. Tell me, girls, what your favorite part is about the program. Um, it gives you exercise. It's not just the golf, and it teaches you about fitness. We ask all of you to welcome the Admiral to Harrisonburg and to James Madison University with a round of applause. Well, I have really experienced a extremely warm JMU welcome today. So I want to thank those of you who have uh, been with me uh, for the earlier part of the day for the, the fantastic introduction to the community. I understand that JMU has a very impressive recreation facility, UREC. I just drove by it. I heard the facility staff and students at this university are working very, very hard to lead by example by being active daily. This university has a leadership role and a leadership reputation as a good citizen and as a leader and as a, a real regional leader in, in this field. And because of this university's vision and your willingness to be involved in issues beyond the border of the campus, I looked at uh, what you were doing and I decided that this was a great time and a great place for me to visit uh, the state of Virginia. Um, my name is Susan Nye and I teach in the Department of Kinesiology. Is there a way in which we can include physical activity as a major portion of schools yes, yes. Um, to help combat the childhood obesity? Yeah. You know that the typical young people in the U.S., they just spend a portion of their, of their day in school. It's a large portion, but it's only a portion. So putting the onus on the schools to get that one hour without paying attention to the rest of their life is, is, is not fair. Sure. That said, I do think we should have more physical activity in the school day and that we should do a better job of making the link between academic performance and <coughs> physical activity. And kids who are healthy, who are physically active, are going to perform better in school. So it's a good investment of the time in school. Uh, my name is Pat. I'm a writer for the school paper here at the, the Breeze. Have you had the food of James Madison? <laughs> here on campus? Yes. Yes, I had a fantastic lunch. It's quite well, but I didn't know what your personal opinion was. <laughs> the food that, that uh, was served to me today, uh, which I assume was prepared on campus, was fantastic. My question is, what advice do you have for graduating health or exercise majors coming out of January to help with the problem? Hmm. 
Well, um, I, I think a great place, as I've talked about, is getting involved in the school. Because the earlier that we get to our young people, the better. And helping young people understand how important physical activity and sports are to their future is a huge and tremendously important role for the graduates of this program. So I, I would encourage you to get involved with young people. Of course, there are lots of options uh, or other organizations like the Y and others that, that work with young children. But getting to children early is really key with this. And of course, physical activity, the work that you're trained uh, to work with people on is so very, very important. So thank you very, very much. I've enjoyed this. Appreciate it.